think ahead to the Maratona. You're fit, focused and primed to hit the Dolomites. But wait, is there anything more that you could do to make things even better? You know, those marginal gains or handy little tips that could make all the difference on the day. Yes, we've got five Maratona hacks. To protect your valuable mobile phone, your cards and your money, it's a good idea to put them in a resealable sandwich bag, which you can then stow in your back pocket to protect them from sweat and rain. Or a handy little phone case just like this. Early morning in the Dolomite, sat on the start line, can be a little bit of a chilly affair, and perhaps even chillier if it happens to be raining. So really good idea, although you might look just a little bit weird, is to cut some holes in the bin liner, pop it over you to keep you warm and dry, and you can dispose of it before you head off on your ride. What are you wearing that for? Because we were supposed to meet 15 minutes ago and you're late again. Are you warm though? I'm boiling. Now the Maratona may not be a race, but that doesn't mean that you can't benefit from some good tactics on the day. You're certainly right, Dan. Now regardless of the distance of the Maratona you're riding, it's a good idea to start things off at a really easy, steady pace. In fact, slightly easier than the pace that you'd normally ride at. Yeah, so ease yourself in for the first hour or so, and after that point, you can begin to lift your tempo ever so slightly. And then in the final third of your event, you can lift it even more if you're still feeling good. Now, it's far better to do it this way than the other way around, because if you start too hard at the Maratona and you start to suffer, there really is no hiding place. Now, another great little cheeky tactic is to sit in as many wheels, or on as many wheels, as you can. Now, admittedly, there's not many flat sections on the Maratona, but at every opportunity, if you sit in the wheels, these occasions will accumulate and save yourself plenty of energy. The Maratona is an event which is completely closed to traffic, and it's also very well marshaled and signposted. So it's fair to say, you are probably not going to get lost. Yeah, so by planning your route, what we mean is, is knowing when the climbs are coming up and how long they are, and where the feed stations are. And that way you'll have a far better idea of how to plan your pacing strategy, and also how much food and drink to carry or not carry up those long climbs. Yeah, because after all, there's no point in carrying a half a kilo of excess fluid in a bottle on your bike if you know that at the top of that climb, there's a feed zone. <laughs> It's also a really good idea to take a couple of spare zip ties to make sure that your frame number isn't dangling, flapping, and generally getting in the way. And along similar lines, it's also a good idea to take some spare safety pins with you. That way, you can put your number on your jersey so it fits nice and snug. Because you'd be surprised at just how much energy you can save over the course of six hours by pinning it on nicely versus having it act as a windbreak. Or a sail. Or a parachute. Now, if you are a rider who's done multiple sportives or grand fondos over many years, and you've got your own hacks which could help our viewers, then we'd love to hear from you. You can leave those in the comment section just down below. Yeah, and while you're at it, if you haven't already, you could subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. Please make sure you tell your mates as well. Yeah, once you've done that, we've got a couple more videos which you think that you might be interested in right now. The first being how to pin your numbers on like a pro. Keep it aero. Or, for our top 10 bike hacks, you can click just down here. Don't forget to like and share.